Hey guys, it's Dave, and today I'm bringing to you something very different for the channel. I know I do some sports stuff every once in a while, but this is a massive New York Yankees memorabilia video. Uh, my father has just retired, he's heading out west, and he asked me if I wanted his entire Yankees memorabilia collection, autographs, baseball cards, uh, signs, items, hats, baseballs, all types of stuff, and I was like, absolutely. So, I picked up the boxes from his house, they were all in a garage, packed away, I went through everything, uh, cleaned stuff up. This is just the first trip I made to his house. There's another trip I'm gonna have to make because I ran out of room in my car. There's a lot of stuff here, a lot of, lot of awesome Yankees memorabilia. Hopefully you enjoy it. Check out the collection, we're gonna start now. First, I'll start with a bunch of New York Yankee bobbleheads. These are all uh, different type of bobbleheads. I'm guessing that came from uh, ball, the ballpark at different games and maybe stores and stuff like that. First bobble, bobblehead here is number 51. It's Bernie Williams. And uh, that's pretty cool. It looks uh, just like him. There he is, there's Bernie. Bernie Williams, number 51. Next up, number 22, Roger Clemens. There he is, up close, Roger Clemens, number 22. Next, number 20, Jorge Tassada. Hip, hip, Jorge! There he is, there's Jorge, looks pretty good. Number 20. So these ones here say signature series of these three, Williams, Clemens, and Tassada. Again, I'm a huge Yankee fan. If you guys watch the channel, you know that. If you know me personally, you know I'm a huge Yankee fan. So this is awesome. I, I, I'm so thankful that my father um, asked me to take it. I will definitely take it, treasure it, and hopefully pass it on to the girls. Uh, next up, we'll go with this series here. These are from the All-Star Game 2001. Uh, that was out in Seattle. And we have number six, Joe Torre. So there's Torre. Next up, number 46, Andy Pettit. And Andy does have his number 46 on the back. All right, that's it for the all-star ones. Now we'll get into some of these other ones that just look like, well, these ones I'll, I'll go with. These have like an American flag in the back with like a baseball. Um, this is obviously Derek Jeter, uh, number two. Number two, Derek Jeter, number two. And there you go, there's Jeter. Yeah, cheats. Next up, we'll go with uh, number 25, Jason Giambi. There he is, Jason Giambi. Number 25. Number 33, David Wells. I liked Wells. So there is David Wells. All right. Next up, I'll just go with this one. This is another Derek Jeter. It's an Upper Deck Collectibles. This one is more of a, feels like a hard plastic, where these are more of like that... I don't know what you call it. Is it resin? Uh, this one's more of like a plasticky one. Jeter. Uh, next up, we have one here. Um, again, this one feels like the plastic too. It's an upper deck collectibles as well. Number 44. It's Reggie Jackson. There he is. I must kill the queen. Uh, next up here, we have... Uh, this says Hormel, uh, which is like a company that makes something, food or something. It's Paul O'Neill, number 21. And these were in boxes for a very long time, so a lot of them were like a little, uh, you know, just being boxed away in, in store, just what's happened. So I tried to clean them up the best I could. Now we'll go with the last three of the bobbleheads here. I absolutely love this one because this was my favorite player growing up. It's number 23. It's a really awesome Don Maddenly bobblehead. Uh, it's bigger than the rest of them. It's taller. Don Maddenly. Looks like them. Awesome. Number 23. Uh, next up, I'll go with this one first. This was... This actually had to be an error. They must have made this wrong because it is a Derek Jeter. There's a number two. There's Jeter, but it says David Wells on it. So it's Derek Jeter with a David Wells stand. This one my dad told me is from a, he didn't know the name of the place. It's a famous Japanese place. Um, I don't know where, but it, it feels like a porcelain. It's a number three, Babe Ruth, a little marked off. I gotta clean it uh, some more. So now out of the box, uh, just being wiped down. Uh, this is very cool, very delicate. You can tell it's like very, 
hear it as the bobblehead knocks. It's, it's definitely porcelain. And there you go, it's of Babe Ruth, number three. We'll go into some of the other stuff, the other collectibles he had. First we'll start, uh, he had two, uh, save two uh, Coke bottles, uh, New York Yankee themed. This one is for, this one's for the 100 year um, anniversary of the New York Yankees from 1903 to 2003. And this is also the 100th anniversary of Coke. Uh, so we've got some classic Coke bottles, so that's cool. Next up, uh, there's a little shot glass, 1996 World Series shot glass. And then there were two mugs, they're all clean now. I won't use these as a drinking mug, but I will use these when I finally get my Geek Cave and I can have my, uh, you know, I'm gonna need a huge sports hall now tons of Yankee stuff and other stuff that I have on my own. You know, these I'll put on its shelf, maybe put stuff in it. This is uh, Don Manley's um, rookie card on a mug. So it's got the front of Don Manley, outfield, it says outfield and first base uh, for the New York Yankees, tops card, and on the back is his uh, rookie numbers. That's a cool mug, especially since I was a huge Don Manley fan. And this one here is for the 2000 World Series champions, uh, it has the Championship there, the New York Yankee logo. It says on the bottom, New York Yankees. Uh, has the 2000 World Series logo. Just uh, something, you know, put on a shelf or a desk. The next batch of stuff I have here are some more statues. And these statues are from a company called Deluso. Um, not sure much about them, uh, but they are very nice looking, uh, kind of like copperish kind of figures. And we'll start with number seven. Mickey Mantle, um, very nice, sturdy statues here. So we got Mantle, the bat's right there. I'm not gonna take the bat off to put it in yet, but it goes right in there. So there is Mickey Mantle. Next up, number nine, we have Roger Maris. Number nine has the back, pretty, really nice detail. Um, he's got his bat also right down there. It has their number on it, number nine, and that is the company that makes it. Deluso, D-I-L-U-S-S-O. Number four, Lou Gehrig. And uh, this this actually is from Hormel, uh, the company. It says Yankee Stadium, July 5th, 2004. Uh, so it must have been a giveaway, I'm guessing, um, of Lou Gehrig. This one is different than the other ones. It's a Hormel uh, figure. And it says on the back, Yankee Stadium, I don't know if you can see it, Yankee Stadium, July 5th, 2004 which would have been the old Yankee Stadium. Next up, uh, this is another Hormel one for Yankee Stadium, April 30th, 2004. It's number three, it is Babe Ruth. Look at that, there he is, Babe Ruth. The next one from Hormel, this is another one, this must have been another giveaway. This is from, for, from Yankee Stadium, August 3rd, 2004. We have Phil Rizzuto, number 10. Got that little pose, they got him. There you go, Phil Rizzuto. Holy cow! Uh, next up, uh, this is one from that company, Deluso. Uh, so this is number uh, five, Joe DiMaggio. Good likeness, if you can see. And there he is, number five, Joe D. Next up, this is from Deluso also. Number eight, Yogi Berra. So there's Yogi. Nice. Next up, uh, this is another Deluso. Uh, it's number 16. Chairman of the board, it's Whitey Ford. That is, that's a good one, I like the stance too. And like you can have them on a desk like that, you know, like that's pretty awesome. And then the last one we have in this set is another Deluso. This is number 15, Thurman Munson. There he is, number 15, Thurman Munson. All right, next uh, we'll go into, this was a little, cute little funny thing my, my, my dad must have had around the holidays. It's a uh, New York Yankee Santa, First, it says first in a limited series, the Memory Company. Uh, so there you go. It, it, it's Santa Claus with a, the navy blue, um, you know, New York Yankees hat and, and coat on, and there's a Yankee hat right there underneath the tree. It's got the logo on it. Cool decorative. I'm going to clean this up some more, and this would be a cool little thing to put out around Christmas time. Now, this next figure is just an awesome looking statue. Um, it is from the Danbury Mint. Um, it's a Cooperstown collection. It's from 2003, I believe, if the date is right here. It's number 15. It's Thurman Munson. And this is just, this is just a beautifully done, 
statue of him. Looks just like Thurman. He's got his mask on the floor. You know, it looks like there's gonna be a play at the plate. Number 15, good detail it says on it. All-Star Figurines, official issues of the Danbury Mint. It's got a, a signature there, which obviously wasn't his real signature, but it, it's probably a copy of a signature. Thurman Munt's on the front again. It needs to be cleaned up a little better than I, you know, I wiped it down and everything. Uh, but once I get into my Geek Cave, all this stuff is actually going to go back into newer boxes, uh, be wrapped, be protected, and then in my storage unit until we get the house and I get my Geek Cave, and these will all come back out um, and be displayed and cleaned even better. Look at that. That This is an awesome figure. This is probably my favorite figure out of all the figures that are in there. Detail is perfect. Awesome stuff. These are a couple like little clocks. This is a, I don't know, Oh, okay, it says New York Yankees desk clock, the Danbury Mint, 2002. So again, another Danbury Mint item. It's got the bats on the side with the balls. It's it's just a cool little New York Yankees. It's got a picture of the old Yankee Stadium. And it's got the Yankees logo in the clock. It's obviously not working now. The battery I took out, it was old. Um, but once, you know, I get this going, I'll definitely get new batteries in this, clean this up some more, and get it going. Show that up close. Very cool. And then the other... Uh, Clock here. It's another Yankees clock. Again, I guess this is Danbury Mint also. This is 2000. It's got a thermometer down here, a picture of the old Yankee Stadium, and then up here it's got barometric pressure. So this isn't this isn't a clock, it's just temperature and the barometric pre pressure, I guess, to keep track of for the game. So again, this is something that once the house is bought, Geek Cave is done, this will be in there as well. I'll bring in closer to give you a better look. All right, this is another uh, clock. It's a Corel, I guess the company is K-O-R-A-L. It's a Babe Ruth 100th anniversary, 1895 to 1995. Um, and it's just like a colorful type of uh, little desk clock with uh, the Babe Ruth in there looking at his ball, uh, flying out of the park. And uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, it's cool looking. I don't know what this all means. I'll have to find out some more, but that's, that's a cool little clock. Uh, next up, there was actually a whole sealed box of 100 card Yankee Stadium legacy cards. 100 card set capturing the history of Yankee Stadium and inside there are two decks of uh, cards so I'm not going to open them now but uh, right there on the front it's got Babe Ruth's jersey and there's a picture of Reggie Jackson. Next these were some stubs that were um, on a they're, they're pasted onto they must be glued onto like a cardboard backboard uh, they were on an actual uh, type of frame thing but the frame was just um, old, uh, corroded, I guess, being stored for so long. So I popped them out and I popped these off um, to put them somewhere new. Uh, but this is like a 1960 World Series. Um, enter at gate four, upper stand, section two, row C, seat 11. It's different ticket subs. So that's from the 1960 World Series. This one's from the 1952 World Series. And this one is from the 1961 World Series. You can see this one's very faded. Then we have some Danbury Mint plates. And first we'll start here with the 100th anniversary New York Yankees plate. And it's got, um, we have Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, there's, there's Ruth, there's DiMaggio, got Rizzuto, uh, DiMaggio, uh, looks like Mantle, DiMaggio, there's Ruth and Gehrig. There is uh, Mantle and DiMaggio, so it's got four of the all-time, along with uh, Rizzuto there, um, some of the all-time great Yankees. That's awesome. So on the back, it says 100th anniversary, New York Yankees, 1903 to 1950, World Series Championships, 1923, 27, 28, 32, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 43, 47, 49, 50. Plate number A858. Uh, so that's cool. I don't know how many they made, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, the next play is another 100th anniversary. Uh, this one has, um, looks like the 70s, the, the time frame of the 70s to the early 80s. We have Reggie Jackson, uh, Thurman, uh, we got Gidry. This is from the World Series Championship 77 and 78. Uh, very cool, I like that also. Next up here is the 2001 American League Champions. Uh, this is from 2001 when they lost in the World Series to the Arizona Diamondbacks. And it was a great series. I uh, really wish they pulled it through. They were so close to getting their fourth in a row. And it would have really meant a lot for the state, you know, for New York back in 01, right after, it was a couple months after 9-11 happened. Um, as you see here with the picture of Tory with uh, Mayor Rudy Giuliani. There's Zimmer, there's Clemens and O'Neill. We got Soriano, 
Mussina, Brocious, there's, who is that? There's Mariano and Posada, there's President uh, George W. Bush, um, there's Jeter. That year they went 95 and 65. Awesome. We have another plate here, 100th anniversary, and this looks like it's more of the common up to date. This is up, what does it say? 81 to 2003. Uh, so we have, what do we got? We got Mariano, we got Jeter, Paul O'Neill, we have Winfield. Williams, there's Don Manley, Jeter in the middle, O'Neill, Manley. Is that, is that Mariano? That's Mariano. Uh, we have Williams and Winfield. Very cool World Series Championship says 96, 98, 99, and 2000. Uh, very awesome. I like that one too. We have one more plate, and this is the 100th anniversary. This looks like it's covering from the uh, 50s, 60s. Uh, we got Mickey, Roger Maris. Mickey up here, there's Whitey Ford. There's Yogi. Very cool. So that's from the World Series in the 51, 52, 53, 56, 58, 61, and 62. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, some other items we have here. This is this is cool. It's a little Wheaties box that says 75 years of champions, 1934, ready to eat. It's got a one of those Fox, you know, signatures of Lou Gehrig on it. It's uh, filled with foam. It's a foam board in there, so there's no real um, cereal in this one. And it's... Uh, yeah, just, that's a cool little item. And it's got Gehrig right there. Here we have a frame that my father put together. Um, it's of David Cohn's Perfect Game. He wrote on it, uh, Cohn Perfect Game. Uh, it's a limited pin set, which is awesome because I just got into pins. So it's got a pin of Cohn pointing up. And then here it says July 18th, 1999, Perfect Game. Four hours and 57 minutes, official time. Uh, Zeros across the board against the Expos. And there's the stub of the game. July 18th, 1999, 1.35 p.m. David Cohen is such a boss, was a great pitcher, great Yankee, and he's really good on the commentary also. They go up close. Very cool. It's a picture, it's an envelope with a stamp that has the Yankees of the century. It's got a picture of Mantle, DiMaggio, Garrick, and Ruth. And it's signed by, he has, it says here that's um, uh, El Duque Hernandez, Orlando Hernandez, and then we have Mariano Rivera uh, signature right there on that. So that's that's awesome. Next up in here we have this is pretty nice. It's a Fleer uh, little New York Yankees uh, Jeep with a Fleer Ultra card of Derek Jeter Yankees shortstop. That's cool. Next up there's a signature here in another frame. Heroes and Pinstripes, New York Yankee logo, and it's signed by Frank Crossetti, who I'm, I'm a Yankee fan, I'm not too familiar with who that is, but, um, and there's a date on the back of it saying 1989. He had a ton of all different types of Yankee pins. We cleaned them, wiped them down, cleaned them up. I put them in the Ziploc, so many. Um, I'll go through this another time, but it's just tons of Yankee pins, and can't wait to get my Geek Cave and get my pin board, because I'm gonna have some awesome Yankee ones to start displaying. Next up, we have some buttons. This button is a limited edition. This is 2,253 of 10,000, 1999 World, uh, the World Series Champions, New York. It's just got a bunch of their pictures on it. Um, you know, again, some of this stuff is faded. It was in boxes, um, packed away, but you know, in time, in, a, in storage, they get faded and stuff. And World Series Champions, New York Yankees 2000. We have another Yankees one here, Subway Series Champions, uh, with Derek Jeter on it. We have a World Series 2000, uh, this was three in a row, 98, 99, and 2000. Uh, the Subway Series, when we beat the Mets. And then another uh, Subway Series uh, button uh, that says uh, New York, American League, Yankees versus the Mets, uh, National League um, Subway Series. In here we have, there was this item that I had to take out of the box because the box was just destroyed. Um, but it looks like it's something you set up and it's got like a little moving card of Bernie Williams. There we go, boom. There he goes. Boom. There's Bernie hitting. Bernie. Burn, baby, burn. We also have in here, he had a uh, little figure set of McFarlane's, uh, McFarlane toys. Uh, mini versions of uh, Derek Jeter in his pose from the ground thrown to first. And uh, Alex Rodriguez um, just after hitting a, an A-bomb from A-Rod. McFarlane figures. Uh, there was a cigar for Don Pedro Ramos cigars, I guess. I guess he made cigars. There you go. This was a cool little item. It's a, from 1992, Babe Ruth Estate and Babe Ruth Baseball License. The Babe Ruth little figure. 
and it's color, you know, distort, distortion, but it has a picture of him, uh, it's a shot of him pointed up, getting ready to hit that long ball. So that's pretty cool. Then we have a signature card of uh, Ron Guidry. Um, I don't think these are actual signatures, I think these came on the cards, um, but that's still pretty cool. We have here a, sounds like, feels like metal, uh, Mickey Mantle. Um, yesterday when I was young, Mickey Mantle has a signature Mickey Mantle, uh, card number 2622, a worldwide numbered edition issuance uh, from 1996, Mickey Mantle Sport Impressions. Not sure, but it's pretty cool. It's like metal. Next up we have the Switch Hitting Home Run Swings by Mickey Mantle. So it's a book that you hold and you flip it like that and it shows him hitting from that side. And you do it the other way and it's hitting from the other side. So I'll show you, ready? Let's see if I can do this on here. And you flip it, and you back from the other side. Next up, we'll get into some signatures here. Well, this is pretty cool. This is a picture of my dad with Joe Torre. So that's cool. It must have made, it looks like it was Yankee Stadium. Maybe it was spring training. There's my dad right there. And there's Joe Torre. We have a signed. Don, now some of these stuff were in frames. I had to take them out because the frames were just uh, corroded. There was tape on them when they were packed, so the tape like glue got stuck to them. So I took them out, I'm, I have them stored away, and I'm gonna get frames for them and put them in new frames. Uh, but we have here a Lou Gehrig, uh, first day of issue. I guess that's the Lou Gehrig stamp. My dad was a, a, a postman, he worked for the post office. Um, and it says, uh, it's a signature of Don, looks like Don Larson. Looks like a Don Larson signature. So that's awesome. We have a signature here of Maurice Russo. All right, we have another signature here of, I don't know who that is, signature of. I have to ask my father, I can't make that out. He has a name written back here, but I don't, Mc, McDougal, McDougal? I don't know, I have to find that out. But there's another signature there. Then we have another signature here of a, I think it says Tommy something, I can't make that out. So these are just ones I'm gonna have to just check with my father and uh, find out. I had to take these out of the frames also just because the frames, some of the frames um, were just um, in bad shape and I didn't want them to get ruined. It's a page of the fifth anniversary issue of the Yankees magazine. We have Ricky Henderson here, Dave Rigetti, we have Dave Winfield and Don Manley. It's signed by all of them. That's cool. There's Don Manley's signature, Winfield, Rigetti's, and Ricky Henderson's. So there's the page and then there you can see all the signatures. This was in a frame, so I'm gonna, again, put these away safely. This also was there, it was a Dave Rigetti signature um, on an envelope with a Dave Rigetti, Dave Rigetti picture and it has, um, it says July 4th, 1983. Um, and there's Dave Rigetti signature. So that went with that. And then he had in other frames, again, I took them out because the frames were in really bad shape and I didn't want it to ruin um, the item. You know, I wasn't even sure if they were ruined. I opened them up and looked, uh, but here we have um, a Sports Illustrated from October 22nd, 2001 of Jeter running and it's signed by Derek Jeter right down there. I'll cover the address even though my dad doesn't live there anymore but I'm sure other people do so uh, there's Jeter running and there's the Jeter signature. Very awesome. Love Derek Jeter. Grew up with Derek Jeter so. Uh, the next one here is another Sports Illustrated. It is from March 26th, 2001. Got a picture of Jeter with his glove on with all four rings on his finger and Again, it's signed by Jeter. Now this one got a little, um, from the frame, got a little in the back, a little, you know, discolored and a little uh, corrosion, but I tried to clean up the best I can, but this has got the Derek Jeter signature, and there's Jeets, there's Jeets himself with the signature. So uh, again, I'll cover up that address, even though he doesn't live there anymore. And there you go, and there's Jeter's signature. Uh, another one we have here, it's another Sports Illustrated from October 12th, 1998. And it is of Shane Spencer, and it is, and it is signed by Shane Spencer. So that is very, very cool. Um, there's Shane Spencer's photograph, and there's there he is. This I wasn't sure what it was. It's a uh, cartoon kind of thing to commemorate Billy Crystal's film '61. I give you my portrait of Roger. Oh, that's supposed to be Roger Maris. Okay. Here you see the dates of the home runs etched in Roger's face. Outside of the pictures, he hit them off of. Okay, so those are the dates. The face is made up of all the dates that he, Roger Maris hit home runs in that year when him and Mantle went uh, hit 61. And then all the names of the pictures. Okay, now I get it. Very cool. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, here we're gonna go with some more. Um, we have some more signatures here coming up. But first we'll go into the 1970 rookie stars, Yankees Thurman Munson and Dave McDonald. Catcher in first base, that's awesome. Thurman Munson rookie card. Um, we have a twin bill. This is a um, Derek Jeter double header. And actually it has a game worn, it says part of a hat here that Jeter must have worn. On the back, it has an Alex Rodriguez uh, when he was on the Texas Rangers. Here we have a uh, 1972 Topps uh, Mint Thurman Munson, uh, I don't know, number 441. Uh, it's a Thurman Munson card. Yeah, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. Then we have here a 1968 Topps uh, Mint Mickey Mantle first base Yankees card. Another one of those pin sets of a David Wells perfect game. So it has a pin that says uh, May 17th, 1998. Has a picture of Wells throwing, and there is the ticket stub uh, from the game. Sunday, May 17th, 1998, at 1:35 p.m. when Wells pitched his perfect game. Very cool. And then here we have again. I got to clean up the frame and everything, but it's a Paul O'Neill uh, Ballpark Souvenir presents Paul O'Neill Limited Edition pin set number 60 of 300, 93 to 2001. It has a Paul O'Neill with a number 21 pin, and another one here with his career stats. And my dad put it on the back of like a pinstripe um, cloth. There you go, Paul O'Neill. Here we have um, a signed Joe DiMaggio uh, envelope with a Lou Gehrig stamp, and then up here is the uh, plaque from Monument Park uh, about Joe DiMaggio. That's pretty cool. This is the New York Yankees lineup card from the night from 1977, uh, where we had they had Rivers leading off, Nettles, Munson, Jackson, Chambliss, White, May, Rudolph, and Dent. That's pretty awesome. That's cool. Lineup card. The next one we have here. This is a 97 out of 315 made. This is obviously Babe Ruth. It's a certificate of authenticity in the back right there. Uh, the Highland Mint, it's signed by the president. Uh, the, the, the frame got messed up with tape and everything, so I'm going to try to figure out how I can transfer this over to another frame, but right now I left it in this one. Um, it's Babe Ruth, the swing, and it has um, a piece of a piece of a, a bat that uh, Babe Ruth used between the years of 1921 and 1931. So that's awesome. Just need to find a new frame for that. See, I might bring a lot of these to Michael's when the time comes to see if they can uh, transfer everything safely into like a nice newer uh, frame framework. This one is awesome. This is of, again my favorite player growing up. It's of Don Manley. It's signed by Manley. It's a picture of him in stride nailing the ball. The dude was ripped. What a great player. I really wish he stuck around one more year to get that World Series ring. Uh, but there it is. Certificate of Authenticity. Don Manley. Autograph photo. It's a limited edition of 250 and this is number 135. There's a Certificate of Authenticity from Steiner uh, Collectibles. I like that. I really like that a lot. Again, huge, huge Madeline fan. The Hitman, Don Madeline. All right, next up we have a picture here. Again, frames will all be fixed and everything. Uh, this is of Reggie Jackson, uh, number 44 written in there. And as you can tell, he just swung the balls up there. Uh, that's the old stadium, smacking a home run. That's a cool picture and a cool signature. Got some more photographs to go into. So here we have uh, two different Whitey Ford signatures. Um, on different uh, Whitey Ford envelopes here. This is uh, New York Yankees Memorial Park Whitey Ford. This is the 1983 Yankee Old Timers game uh, Whitey Ford signature. Uh oh, right out of room. Next up here we have signatures from Phil Linz and Moose Scowron. Now again, I am a Yankee fan. Uh, some of these names though are, are I don't recognize, but that's awesome. I mean, it's signatures of Yankees, so who? Can't complain with that, so there you go. We have uh, some more signatures here, one of Johnny Blanchard and one of Ralph Hoke. We have uh, some more here of Johnny Big Cat Miz and Phil Rizzuto. Phil Rizzuto's the man. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. I can't make out that name or that face. I know the face looks so familiar, but I don't, is it Ramon? Oh man, I can't make that out, but this signature there. Um, a Yogi Berra signature, so that's awesome. His plaque from Cooperstown, Hall of Fame, and there's his signature. A signature of Whitey Ford, and there's his plaque from Cooperstown. I think this is Earl Combs, I think it says. I'm not too sure. It's a signature of his with a picture. Um, 
This is definitely older school, I'm not too familiar. We have just a really cool picture here of Mantle um, and a bunch of different news clips of Mantle and that's a cool Mantle picture there. Not signed by him, but very cool. Uh, we have here a picture of um, Don Larson's perfect game in the World Series and it's signed by Larson right there. So that is very, very cool. There's the Don Larson signature from his perfect game. We have here uh, some signatures from Kevin Mass. Uh, Kevin Mass, the signature there, and then two of his cards there uh, from 90 and 91. We have a signature of Joe Pepiton and Tom Tresh. We have a signature of Tommy Henrich and Hank Bauer. We have a signature of Hector Lopez and Horace Clark. We have um, Whitey Ford and Allie Reynolds. And then down here we have Ed Lopat and Reggie Jackson signatures. Here we have signatures of Lou Pinella and Ryan Duran. Here's a really cool picture of uh, Berra. I see Thurman Munson, some old school Yankees. That's very cool. We have another picture here of DiMaggio, Ruth, Gehrig, and Mantle. Just says, Pride of the Yankees. Uh, here we have the luckiest man on the face of the earth, of Lou Gehrig. Looks like a passage here on July 4th, 1939. 61,808 fans turned out to Yankee Stadium to honor the dying Lou Gehrig. After several politicians spoke, Gehrig stepped to the microphone and delivered one of the most memorable speeches in history, and it's his whole speech. So that's, that's cool. And we have here a signed uh, picture of the man himself, number 42, Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer ever. There he is with the signature. Mo. Uh, then we have another one here of uh, Wade Boggs, the signature of Wade Boggs after the 96 World Series, riding on the New York City uh, the NYPD horse. And then we have another one here of Alfonso Soriano, uh, number 33, just nailing a ball. Got a lot more to go.